Hello everyone, this is Popular Paxton speaking and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of these items you see right here. So these all came from Fisher Price during a massive sale that was going on. I couldn't pass it up and so I got a few items. So as you can see we've got the James Sorts It Out set and then two pieces of track and I actually bought one more item which was our Trackmaster item but that item didn't show up so it's probably gonna come later so yeah I was hoping it could come with the rest of this stuff so I could unbox it in this video but I guess it's not going to happen today so yeah I'm just gonna be unboxing these three items and I hope you guys will sit back relax and enjoy so first off I'm gonna start with the James Sorts It Out set and while I'm unboxing this stuff I'm gonna give a little story on how I bought this stuff all right, I've got my camera placed on a box here and I'm gonna get ready to open this. I've got my scissors ready. So I'm just gonna have to lay it down like this. So let me tell the story real quickly. I was originally starting to look for stuff to buy on Amazon and I was looking at the Reg and the Percy at the Scrapyard set. And so I was deciding to compare it to the price on Fisher Price than it to the price on Amazon because I knew when I was last on Fisher Price the Reg and Percy at the Scrapyard set was on clearance. So I was going to Fisher Price to check the prices and that's when I saw that there was this sale going on. And so the Sodor Store collection sets like this one right here were only $65 when they usually when they're now going for like $260. So that was incredible. I knew I had to buy some stuff that was on sale I'm kind of having a bit of a tough time getting this tape but anyways yeah I decided to buy a few things from Fisher Price rather than an Amazon so yeah that's how I discovered this sale and that's how I bought these items I was starting out by looking on Amazon and I was going to Fisher Price to compare the prices of Percy and Reg at the scrapyard set to the prices of okay I was going to compare the price of that set on Amazon and on Fisher Price and the Soto Story collection sets were a few bucks cheaper than Percy and Reg were even when they were on clearance so yeah that was pretty incredible so yeah and yeah I don't remember if I always said this but the other item I got that was a Trackmaster item it was Gator the three pack from Tale of the Brave yeah it was Gator so yeah he didn't come yet he'll probably come in a in the next couple of days or so, so yeah okay I've got that tape cut so I'm going to turn this around and take these out sorry that you can't see what I'm doing Hang on, let me back this up a bit. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to lower it a little. Okay. Alright, so. You can see there's the Steamworks building right here. and Let me take out the box here. No, not the box, the bulk. The bulk right here. And now let me get out the James, if I can. Okay. Here's James. Now let me take out the Steamworks. Uh, it's, it's, caught on the, it's caught on this cardboard here. Hang on. Just got to try to get it off. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to stop the video right here and I'm going to try to get this camera a bit higher up and a bit farther back, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the camera a bit higher up now, so I'm just going to scoot some of this stuff out of the way and continue taking stuff out of the box here until everything is out. Let's see here. Right here is a little activity sheet. And let me see the rest. I'm just taking out some cardboard here and the rest should all just be in this box right here. I'm going to have to 
lay this down flat and take this out. And that's it. That's that's all that's in the box. So let me scoot the box away and I'll get ready to open what's in this big box right here and also take James out of that plastic. So give me just a second. Okay, now I'm ready to continue. First, I'm going to take James out of this plastic. So I'm just going to do this right on camera. Okay. Let me take a look at the bottom here. Okay, there's tape on the bottom here. And it's got the plastic in, so I'm going to gonna have to cut that tape. Let me get my scissors real quickly. I'm gonna be doing this off camera, so give me one second. Okay, let me see if I can get it, get him out with just this one. Okay, I got the James part. And there's his tender. So let me just stick this over here. And let me stick James on the box here. So here's James. Let me just zoom in a little. So the James part here, he is covered in some green paint. And it says James sorts it out on the bottom. But his tenor is spotless and that's just one of the problems that some tender engines that have extra details, they don't like include extra details on the tender here. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but you know what, oh well. So I'm just gonna put James by the Steamworks here. I'm just gonna put him on the Steamworks track and I'll show the Steamworks after I get all this stuff open. So let me cut this tape with the scissors. Oops. Something just fell from my shelf. I'll get that in just a second. Getting a little tough near the end. Okay, I got that done. And just give me a second. Alright, I picked up what fell from my shelf here. And I will actually show what was on the shelf in, at the end of this video. So, let me open these flaps and first thing I'm going to take out, okay, i got to kind of remove some of this cardboard here. Okay, first thing I'm taking out is Colin. So Colin is included in this set. He was only seen in the season 12 episode, The Party Surprise. So he was just a one-off character. So let me show you Colin. He's got a pretty long crane arm. At least it looks pretty long when it's down like that. And here's his face. Yeah, I've been wanting Colin for a long time, but he's just pretty rare. And it's, when you can not find him on eBay, he's a bit expensive and in use condition. So I can lower his pretty big hook. Yeah, that's just what's happened with the Mattel cranes. They do have this large, unusual hook. But never mind that. Let me put Colin aside now. I've got an 8-inch piece of track right here. I'm just going to put it right there. Next we have... The Crosby barrel loader. It says Crosby right here. 
And it's just got some barrels and other goods on the sides here. <laughs> Okay, let me stick this down here. I'm just quickly taking out the instructions for the set. Okay, I'm just gonna put these aside for now. And let me see here. I'm just taking out more cardboard and throwing it all into the box where everything came in. Okay, I've got a little cargo bin right here. It says 2012 on the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, I'm taking out all the straight tracks right here. We've got one track right here with hazard stripes, and this is supposed to connect to Colin right here where his ladder is. You see there's a hole right here. And this stub on the end is supposed to connect to Colin like that. So yeah, that's just another thing that's happening with some Mattel destinations. And here's another piece of track that has hazard stripes. Let me just take out the rest of the, oh, and here's another hazard stripe, one. So we've got three tracks with hazard stripes. And here are the rest of the straight pieces. And I'm just gonna stop the video for a second well, and then get ready to take out the rest of the items. Okay, now I'm taking out all the curved tracks. They're all just short pieces. You can see right here. I'm laying them all off to the side here. And now for the final item. Okay, there's actually a few more items. So, here is the archstone bridge. Just gotta take it out of this paper. So here's one piece of the archstone bridge and it says kelp store or however you say it. Yeah. The other one says Sodor Steamworks. And here's the center piece. Now for all the rolling stock and stuff, so we've, and cargo. So we've got three barrels here. Trying to do this off camera. This is a little tough because it's hard to tell like where the tape is and all that. Okay, I'm nearly got it. There we go. All right, I've got those two barrels out. So here are the barrels right here. They're magnetic on the top. As you can see, so we can use them with Colin. Just gonna put these right here. Here's a crate that says Solar Steamworks. Here is a cargo car with a little crate cap or whatever. It's supposed to go on top of James. Let me just take this out. Okay, let me just put this down here and get the cargo car out of here. All right. So here's the cargo car. And here's the crate cap. And let me see. No, no, it, it actually can't go over this because it's got flat ends yeah I made a mistake in thinking that but it is it's supposed to be magnetic let me just test it with Colin here yep it's magnetic and let me just grab James off from the side here 
it does go on his boiler. As you can see, it fits between the funnel and the dome. Yep. Now for the last couple items, we got Victor and Kevin. So here's Victor. So yeah, I'm probably going to upgrade to this CGI Victor when I continue my videos. So yeah. And here is Kevin. Let me just take him out. So here is Kevin. Now I'm not for sure yet if I'm going to switch to this Kevin in my videos. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this Kevin. I just don't know whether I want to use this one or my old one from Hero of the Rails. Okay. So that's everything from the James Sorts It Out set. And I'll be right back with some more stuff. Okay everyone, I'm back and as you can see I've built the James Sorts It Out set. So I'll show you the Steamworks in a second. I've still got two more things to open up and then I'll show you something else. So yeah, let me just put my camera down. So the point of the Steamworks here is that you can push the track inside the building. So it's kind of like a transfer table, like the one outside the Steamworks. And on the side here we have Emily and on the inside we have Henry. So that's another problem with Mattel Destinations. They do tend to have like illustrations of engines on them. Like in the Ratchet and Percy at the Scrapyard set they have an illustration of James on the side of one of the buildings. So yeah, unless you want to co cover them up by, with cargo stuff. What I would think of doing is saying that those were paintings made from made by a famous artist or something. Yeah. But anyways, let me get on to opening these last couple items. So I'm going to open this item next. So let me take my scissors here. Okay, I might not actually need them. I just need to take off this tape back here and... So this item is an X crossing track. It's a bit of a unique item. And I'm surprised they still like have it up available today. Like at my at a store that I go to called Hobby Town USA, they have like a pack of track that features this X crossing track, some track adapters, and some flexi curve tracks. Not wacky track, flexi curve tracks. So yeah, they have this, those track adapters on the flexi curve track. So this was also on sale. So I got it he there instead of at the hobby shop. And so yeah, I can't wait to use this item in upcoming videos. Let me get this item opened. Okay, this may take a second. Trying to get the scissors underneath the tape so I can cut it. I'm getting it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to tear it like this. Okay, there, I got it. So the second item is a track riser. Let me take it out of the plastic here. So yeah, this is the track riser, and it does actually have detail on the sides here. One thing I really don't get is why this end of the 
track is flat, like it's missing like the top half or something. I'm just going to take a piece of track real quickly from the layout. I'm going to connect it on. Connects okay. Just looks a little awkward or something. I don't know. And I think you might be able to fit an engine under the riser. Yeah, well, maybe. It just might shake the riser a bit. But yeah, that's the track riser right there. And so that's all the items that I got from Fisher Price. But like I said, I actually got a Trackmaster Gator, but that hasn't shown up yet. So yeah, I hope it will come soon. And then there's one more item I want to give, and then I'm going to give a couple of quick updates about my other videos. So, this is a yellow Tomy Troublesome Truck. It's not actually Tomy. The company that made this Troublesome Truck is Peril or something. So yeah, this came from a pack that features LBSC Thomas and Black James from The Adventure Begins. And I got this truck off of eBay from YouTuber Psychic Jason. It even came with some additional items. It came with this Tommy Curve track that was signed by Psychic Jason. And it came and it comes with a little poster slash thank you note. There's a thank you note written on the back. It says season three coming soon. And it also comes with, but I'm not gonna show you it. I cannot show you it at all. But it also came with a URL to a secret video. So yeah. So yeah, I just thought I would show you these items that I got from off of Psychic Jason. So yeah, this will make a nice addition to my Tommy slash Trackmaster collection. Now to give a couple quick updates. I have been working on the director's cut of Steamies vs. Diesels. I've got like four parts of it done. I filmed them and edited them. And I have them uploaded unlisted because my plan is to get it all done, get it all edited and uploaded. And then once it's all ready, I'm going to put them all together in the YouTube video editor. And then I'm going to release it as one big movie and make that public for you all to see. So rather than have you watch one part at a time, I'm going to try to release the whole thing at once so yeah i hope you guys will be patient for that i want to thank you for being patient so far and i hope you liked watching this unboxing video i wish that trackmaster gator could have come so i could have unboxed him but you know what he'll come soon enough i just need to be you know patient so yeah i'm happy with the things i got off of fisher price during that sale and i'll see you guys later Bye.